Evangelicalism, Evangelical Christianity, or Evangelical Protestantism is a worldwide, transdenominational movement within Protestant Christianity maintaining that the essence of the Gospel consists in the doctrine of salvation by grace. Through faith in Jesus Christ's atonement, evangelicals believe in the centrality of the conversion or born-again experience in receiving salvation, in the authority of the Bible as God's revelation to humanity, and spreading the Christian message. Evangelical Protestantism gained great momentum in the 18th and 19th centuries with the emergence of Methodism and the Great Awakenings in Britain and North America. The origins of evangelicalism are usually traced back to the English Methodist movement, the Moravian Church and the theology of its bishop Nikolaus Zinzendorf, Lutheran Pietism. Today, evangelicals may be found in many denominations, including Presbyterianism and Pentecostalism. Among leaders and major figures of the evangelical Protestant movement were John Wesley, George Whitefield, Jonathan Edwards, Billy Graham, Harold John Ockenger, John Stott and Martin Lloyd-Jones. There are an estimated 285,480,000 evangelicals, comprising 13.1% of the Christian population and 4.1% of the total world population. The Americas, Africa and Asia are home to the majority of evangelicals. The United States has the largest concentration of evangelicals. Evangelicalism is gaining popularity both in and outside the English-speaking world, especially in Latin America and the developing world. Usage The word evangelical has its etymological roots in the Greek word for gospel or good news. Epsilon Epsilon alpha gamma gamma epsilon lambda iota omicron nu from you good and angelin message. By the English Middle Ages the term had expanded semantically to include not only the message, but also the New Testament which contained the message, as well as more specifically the Gospels which portray the life, death and resurrection of Jesus. The first published use of evangelical in English came in 1531 when William Tyndale wrote, he exhorted them to proceed constantly in the evangelical truth. One year later Sir Thomas More produced the earliest recorded use in reference to a theological distinction when he spoke of Tyndale and his evangelical brother Barnes. During the Reformation, Protestant theologians embraced the label as referring to gospel truth. Martin Luther referred to the Evangelische Kirche to distinguish Protestants from Catholics in the Roman Catholic Church. Into the 21st century, evangelical has continued in use as a synonym for Protestant in continental Europe. This usage is reflected in the names of Protestant denominations such as the Evangelical Church in Germany and the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. In the English-speaking world, evangelical became a common label used to describe the series of revival movements that occurred in Britain and North America during the 18th and 19th centuries. Christian historian David Bebbington writes that, although evangelical, with a lowercase initial, is occasionally used to mean of the gospel, the term evangelical, with a capital letter, is applied to any aspect of the movement beginning in the 1730s. The term may also occur outside any religious context to characterize a generic, missionary, reforming, or redeeming impulse or purpose. For example, the Times Literary Supplement refers to the rise and fall of evangelical fervor within the socialist movement. Characteristics One influential definition of evangelicalism has been proposed by historian David Bebbington. Bebbington notes four distinctive aspects of evangelical faith. Conversionism, Biblicism, Crucicentrism, and Activism, noting, together they form a quadrilateral of priorities that is the basis of evangelicalism, conversionism, or belief in the necessity of being born again, has been a constant theme of evangelicalism since its beginnings. To evangelicals, the central message of the gospel is justification by faith in Christ and repentance, or turning away, from sin. 
Conversion differentiates the Christian from the non-Christian, and the change in life it leads to is marked by both a rejection of sin and a corresponding personal holiness of life. A conversion experience can be emotional, including grief and sorrow for sin followed by great relief at receiving forgiveness. The stress on conversion is further differentiated from other forms of Protestantism by the belief that an assurance of salvation will accompany conversion. Among evangelicals, individuals have testified to both sudden and gradual conversions. Biblicism is defined as having a reverence for the Bible and a high regard for biblical authority. All evangelicals believe in biblical inspiration, though they disagree over how this inspiration should be defined. Many evangelicals believe in biblical inerrancy, while other evangelicals believe in biblical infallibility. Crucicentrism refers to the attention that evangelicals give to the atonement, the saving death and resurrection of Jesus, that offers forgiveness of sins and new life. This is understood most commonly in terms of a substitutionary atonement, in which Christ died as a substitute for sinful humanity by taking on himself the guilt and punishment for sin. Activism describes the tendency towards active expression and sharing of the gospel in diverse ways that include preaching and social action. Diversity as a transdenominational movement, evangelicalism occurs in nearly every Protestant denomination and tradition. The Reformed, Baptist, Wesleyan, and Pentecostal traditions have all had strong influence within modern evangelicalism. Evangelicals are also represented within the Anabaptist, Anglican, and Lutheran traditions. The early 20th century saw the decline of evangelical influence within mainline Protestantism and the development of Christian fundamentalism as a distinct religious movement. The second half of the century witnessed the development of a new mainstream evangelical consensus that sought to be more inclusive and more culturally relevant and fundamentalism, while maintaining conservative Protestant teaching. According to Professor of World Christianity Brian Stanley, this new post-war consensus is termed neo-evangelicalism, the new evangelicalism, or simply evangelicalism in the United States. While in the United Kingdom and in other English-speaking countries it is commonly termed conservative evangelicalism. Over the years, less conservative evangelicals have challenged this mainstream consensus to varying degrees, and such movements have been described by a variety of labels, such as progressive, open, post-conservative, and post-evangelical. Fundamentalism Fundamentalism regards biblical inerrancy, the virgin birth of Jesus, penal substitutionary atonement, the literal resurrection of Christ and the second coming of Christ as fundamental Christian doctrines. Fundamentalism arose among evangelicals in the 1920s to combat modernist or liberal theology in mainline Protestant churches. Failing to reform the mainline churches, fundamentalists separated from them and established their own churches, refusing to participate in ecumenical organizations such as the National Council of Churches. They also made separatism a true test of faith. According to historian George Marsden, most fundamentalists are Baptist and dispensationalist. Mainstream varieties Mainstream evangelicalism is historically divided between two main orientations, confessionalism and revivalism. These two streams have been critical of each other. Confessional evangelicals have been suspicious of unguarded religious experience while revivalist evangelicals have been critical of overly intellectual teaching that stifles vibrant spirituality. In an effort to broaden their appeal, many contemporary evangelical congregations intentionally avoid identifying with any single form of evangelicalism. These generic evangelicals are usually theologically and socially conservative, but their churches often present themselves as non-denominational within the broader evangelical movement. In the words of Albert Moeller, president of the Southern Baptist Theological Seminary, 
Confessional evangelicalism refers to that movement of Christian believers who seek a constant convictional continuity with the theological formulas of the Protestant Reformation, while approving of the evangelical distinctives proposed by Bebbington. Confessional evangelicals believe that authentic evangelicalism requires more concrete definition in order to protect the movement from theological liberalism and from heresy. This protection, according to confessional evangelicals, is found in subscription to the ecumenical creeds and to the Reformation-era confessions of faith. Confessional evangelicals are represented by conservative Presbyterian churches. Certain Baptist churches that emphasize historic Baptist confessions like the Second London Confession, Anglicans who emphasize the 39 Articles, and some confessional Lutherans with Pietistic convictions. The emphasis on historic Protestant orthodoxy among confessional evangelicals stands in direct contrast to an anti-creedal outlook that has exerted its own influence on evangelicalism particularly among churches heavily influenced by revivalism and by pietism. Revivalist evangelicals are represented by some quarters of Methodism, the Wesleyan Holiness Churches, the Pentecostal, Charismatic Churches, some Anabaptist Churches, and some Baptists and Presbyterians. Revivalist evangelicals tend to place greater emphasis on religious experience than their confessional counterparts. Non-conservative varieties evangelicals dissatisfied with the movement's conservative mainstream have been variously described as progressive evangelicals, post-conservative evangelicals, open evangelicals and post-evangelicals. Progressive evangelicals, also known as the evangelical left, share theological or social views with other progressive Christians, while also identifying with evangelicalism. Progressive evangelicals commonly advocate for women's equality, pacifism and social justice. As described by Baptist theologian Roger E. Olson, post-conservative evangelicalism is a theological school of thought that adheres to the four marks of evangelicalism, while being less rigid and more inclusive of other Christians. According to Olson, post-conservatives believe that doctrine and propositional truth is secondary to spiritual experience shaped by scripture. Post-conservative evangelicals seek greater dialogue with other Christian traditions and support the development of a multicultural evangelical theology that incorporates the voices of women, racial minorities, and Christians in the developing world. Some post-conservative evangelicals also support open theism and the possibility of near-universal salvation. The term open evangelical refers to a particular Christian school of thought or churchmanship, primarily in the United Kingdom. Open evangelicals describe their position as combining a traditional evangelical emphasis on the nature of scriptural authority the teaching of the ecumenical creeds and other traditional doctrinal teachings, with an approach towards culture and other theological points of view which tends to be more inclusive than that taken by other evangelicals. Some open evangelicals aim to take a middle position between conservative and charismatic evangelicals, while others would combine conservative theological emphases with more liberal social positions. British author Dave Tomlinson coined the phrase post-evangelical to describe a movement comprising various trends of dissatisfaction among evangelicals. Others use the term with comparable intent, often to distinguish evangelicals in the so-called emerging church movement from post-evangelicals and anti-evangelicals. Tomlinson argues that, linguistically, the distinction between evangelical and post-evangelical resembles the one that sociologists make between the modern and postmodern eras.